Hi, yes, it's me again, Dane. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm guessing that if you are here right now watching this video, you are one of the people who answered the form that I created, or at least you're looking forward to anything that you may get from this video. Well, I'm glad that you're here, guys. So, um, you may also know that based on the title, Diri, we will be talking about the college questions and queries that we have accumulated from the form that you answered and other information that we have gathered as well regarding college. This video that you are about to see is composed of three parts. Why? Because if maghimo raman tao usa ka video, it's gonna be too long for you. And so I decided personally na ako na lang shape chop into three parts according to the information they contain. So this video that you are watching right now particularly is going to be about the various information among universities in Cebu. And then the second video would be about the scholarships you may apply for. And then the third one would be about my personal experiences in nursing school and college in general as well. Um, the links of the video will be found in the description box below. Or you can also see them on the icon that will appear in your screen right about now. Yes. Also guys, so that you won't waste your time watching the whole video, I also have placed in the D box below the different time frames of the universities we will be talking today. I did this so that you may jump right away to the universities you are interested of. But if ganahan mo mo watch the whole thing, then please be my guest. Lastly, before Judko mag start na legit, is that I want to give a little disclaimer that Everything we are going to talk about in this video would be only based on personal experiences, personal researches, and should not be the only source of information you have. We highly encourage you guys to do your own research or to do more further research so that you may know more about the things you are interested of. Without everything said, let's start this. Okay, to start, let's have Cebu Normal University first, um, my own university. So the first question we got is that, okay ra ba ang mga professors sa CNU? Understanding ra ba sila? Well, of course, if we are talking about my own department, which is ang nursing, okay ka ayo sila, guys. They are very considerate, understanding, and pro students mostly sila. Um, of course, uh, dili sa nato malikayan nga na ay mga strict ka ayong instructors. But we have to put in mind though that usar na sila mga traits to discipline their students. And I guess kabalo na ana. And with other departments naman sad, I don't have enough information and experience with them to say kung unsa sila nga professors. But I guarantee you guys, basta Cebu Normal University, most of their professors and instructors there are pro students. So, dili mo ma worry with that. The second question that we got from CNU department is that, is CNU free tuition? Guys, yes, free tuition ang CNU since it's a state university. When we say state university, free ang tuition and it's covered by the government, specifically the Commission on Higher Education or CHET. However, you must put in mind that even though nga free tuition ang imuhang school, there are fees that you need to pay as a student. Personally, kaming mga nursing department, we have to pay for... I'm sorry for the noise. Um, we have to pay for certain things such as our equipment, tools, uniforms, kits, like that. So yeah, um, it's either no to minimal fees lang imong ibayad. So yeah. Next. Pila ang kuhaon nga grade sa CNU? Guys, I cannot remember specifically kung unsa nga grade ang ilhang kuhaon, but if you are an average student, then you are good to go. Okay, next question. Dapat na akay i-maintain na grade while gaskwila sa CNU? First of all, I think all institutions have maintaining grades, but in CNU particularly, that would be tres. Mano yung best friend, guys, nga grade. Kaya kung malapas ka, Ana, dapat nakamabala ka ang sugod. Next question. How was your experience when you were a freshman? First of all, guys, I'm still in my freshman year, but so far, so good. I guess. 
challenging at times, not at times, but mostly, but kaya nandiyan na. Okay? So, the next question we have here is that, are the students' organizations okay? I am currently a member of one organization from Cebu Normal University, so my answer would be yes. Guys, as student organizations, Mangod, you may be able to interact with your schoolmates a lot of times. Dito, Mangod, sa student organization, it will help you a lot to learn about the things that you still don't know about your institution, your instructors, or even your course. So, it's it's really helpful. I encourage you guys to to apply for student organizations or clubs because it's really nice. I swear. The question is, how long do graduates get a job after graduation? It is different from case to case basis. Say, example, you are a fresh graduate and then there are other things that you may want to do first you may want to continue studying with a different course program or you may want to proceed to medicine for example you're a nursing student nursing graduate you want to proceed to medicine secondly you want to you want to rest lang sa tambay you have to be with yourself and then third you may also want to proceed to get a job for your degree so yes, the the answer for this question really is that na based yun na sa person kung unsa ilang decision after graduating. Okay, let's go on to the more specific question under Cebu Normal University. So the first question, makaya raba ang nursing sa CNU? Is taking up Bachelor of Science in Nursing in CNU difficult? Guys, for your information, no courses are easy to take. Promise. Bisan kinsa pa mo i-ask ana liso jud na siya. Well, it always be difficult at least at the first time and challenging, but eventually you you'll get used to it. But when it comes to CNUCN specifically, makaya ra. Liso siya mostly, but kaya nun. You know, is it illegal to say right now nga pag sinimulan panindigan? You know? So yes, more na siya. Makaya rin na guys. Padayan lang yun. Okay? Is CNU already starting with the interview? I haven't received an email about mine and I submitted my application last December 9. I received an email only asking me to submit my incomplete requirement then wala na. Well, for this question, there are a lot of things that you need to do. First thing that you need to do is to comply the locking requirement that they ask from you. And then secondly, you have to wait for them to email you about your application because once you apply to CNU, they're going to send you an email regarding the approval of your, your application. So once you approve na ka, then another waiting game. You have to wait for the schedule kung when ka mo take sa exam sa CNU. The interview process on the other hand is only applicable for those who qualified the entrance examination. Once you qualify the entrance exam, they are going to send you the details about your interview process via email or text messages. The next question is, when is the examination? I kind of mentioned this earlier but let's answer this. The examination date is different from person to person. It depends on what time or date CNU has allotted you to answer the examination. So different na siya. Next, what about the interview process? Again, the interview process is only applicable for those who qualify the entrance examination in CNU. Once you pass the entrance examination, they are going to send you the details about your interview process via email or SMS. That's about it with CNU related questions. If you want to know more about them, please go to the description box below as I have placed their different links where you can access their information. So yeah, good luck, future normalites. Alright, the next part of this video is about University of the Philippines related questions. Before I'm going to start answering your questions, I just want to thank my friends from University of the Philippines Visayas Campus 
for answering the questions we have gathered and for sharing their experience and knowledge about their beloved school. Allow me guys to mention you. Thank you to Marge, Hart, Vince, Matt, and Byron for helping me help other students out there. And if you're watching this right now guys, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Makapasar mo karon nga Sam because of that. <laughs> anyway, let's start. Okay, so general questions with University of the Philippines. How much will be the tuition fee or the cost of the tuition in UP? As a national university, the University of the Philippines is funded by the Philippine government. The tuition fees of the students then are minimal to no fees at all. Manila answer, guys. But they also added, walang tuition fee, pero kaluluwa mo yung ibabayad mo para makatapos. Great! <laughs> Next question. How is the quality of education being showcased in UP? I am shocked that you guys still ask this, but the professors in the University of the Philippines are almost always experts in their respective fields. Big names in the country's science and humanities field are from the University of the Philippines. They say, Alexa, Play Surface Pressure by Luisa Madrigal. <laughs> Next question. What are the scholarships offered in UP? In the University of the Philippines, we have our UPV Socialized Tuition Office, which administers the financial assistance services of the university. This is particularly from Visayas Campus, okay? But I think if naka sa UP Cebu, na ma found sa nisailahang Facebook page that I have also linked below. So go there lang. But specifically, they these guys that answer this question, Mangod, is from Visayas Campus. So they are answering this from their own knowledge lang. So as mentioned, the UPV it implements the policies and decisions and the socialized tuition program. They have private and government scholarship programs, they have student loan programs, and student assistantship program. Students can apply to the financial assistance programs, scholarship opportunities, and learning assistant packages offered in the socialized tuition office. Guys, they also have further said na each scholarship program has different requirements upon applying. If you wish to know more about the scholarship programs, particularly in their constituent university, Visayas Campus, kindly visit the official Facebook page of UPV Socialized Tuition Office through the link pasted below. I also have pasted the UP Cebu and the official website of University of the Philippines so that you find out there more. Is it hard to pass their entrance exam? They said that college admission exams are generally hard to pass. But frankly, UPCAT passers are around 10 to 15 percent of the total examinees all over the country. So yes, it is hard to pass. Also, further po nga information that I have personal experience since I also applied in U University of the Philippines, um, UP doesn't have UPCAT examination during last year. But I don't know if karon mag exam basila or not. But please prepare because it's gonna be hard. UPCAT is hard. And if not sila mag exam, they're going to base the passers according to their grades and credentials. Next, will I be able to blend in with them? Yes, they said. Iskos and Iskas are probably the most amazing people you've ever meet. This is probably where we can fully embrace the be yourself mantra because I tell you, you'll meet the most colorful personalities in the university. So don't worry, you will find your crowd. Guys, they are really good. Most of the people said from University of the Philippines are smart, intelligent, and highly friendly. So you don't have anything to worry about. You will find your people. 
Is the school high standards? Yes, University of the Philippines is high standards. But you'll manage. Trust me, you'll eventually get used to getting below passing scores during LEs. LEs, guys, are long exams. But that's just saying that you still have a lot to improve, right? And what do you need to do? What do you need to improve? Well, they said be 1% better every single day. So yes, it may be high standards, but you'll get there. You'll manage it. I believe in you guys. Next question. What is the passing rate of their entrance exam? They said the results of UPCAT are usually based on applicant's university predicted grade or UPG. The UPG is the combined score of their weighted UPCAT score for 60% and their weighted average grades in high school for 40%. Next, does having a 70 plus subject grade can't apply for the scholarship in UP? In UPCAT, um, grades didn't really matter that much since the UPCAT score weighed heavier than the average grades in high school. Well, if you pass UPCAT, then yay! Welcome to UP! They also added that UPCA um, grades mat matter upon application. Nevertheless, there are still other factors that the admission committee will consider. So yeah! I guess that's about it with UP related questions. If you have any more clarifications about the school, please go directly to the description box under University of the Philippine links and then there you can access the information from the different websites that I have linked below. Good luck future Isco and Iska! You got this! Alright, now we are down to the University of San Carlos related questions. For this portion, I want to thank my monster, Fleurmore, for her comprehensive and research level answers regarding her institution. Thank you so much, Amor. I really appreciate it. Anyway, let's start. Okay, so general questions. How is the quality of education being showcased in University of San Carlos? Is the school high standards? Guys, be prepared because she really did her best answering this. This is what she said. The University of San Carlos educates with the words ciencia, virtus, y devotion. The quality of education associates with these three important words. Ciencia, where knowledge are taught to students to create academic excellence. Virtus, where they mold the virtues and the character of each student. And lastly, with devotion, where the devotion and faithfulness are dedicated to the university even after graduating. And then when it comes to the standards, the university is open and very accepting to students who want quality education. However, students are oriented that when we are not able to reach a certain grade qualifications, we will be advised to transfer. So yes, that is the answer to your question. I hope that you get that because that's really everything about USC. Second question. Does the institution offer free tuition? She said, As much as I know, the institution does not offer free tuition. However, there are discounts that the student may avail and there are many sponsored companies that offer scholarships to students as well. Next, what are the scholarships offered except for the government scholarships. Some of the scholarships offered are merit scholarships. Uh, this is for honorary students and then there are also non-merit scholarships which is for financial aids. And then next, presidential scholarships which is for various colleges and the university. They also have priests and alumni, sponsor merit scholarship and a lot more. Uh, to know more about the information, the scholarships that USC is offering, 
kindly go to the description box under USC scholarship and there you can know more about it. Is it hard to pass your entrance exam? Well, for the entrance exam, it is not hard to pass. He said, we were just given a situation and we ought to answer it through an essay. And when your essay will appeal the admissions office, you will be a candidate for application. Next, will I be able to blend in with them? USC is full of various kinds of people from different regions in the Philippines and even outside the Philippines. Some of my blockmates originated from other countries and there are even Warais, Tagalogs, and Zamboanganios in her block. However, she did not have a hard time blending in with them because the students are quite approachable and friendly. Even the seniors are friendly to us freshmen and it feels very welcoming. So I guess guys, you don't have anything to worry about when it comes to blending in with current USC people because they are very friendly and welcoming. Especially if you know this particular friend of mine, she is friendly. I swear. Um, let's go to the specific question. Unfortunately, we cannot answer the information technology since my friend is in civil engineering department. So let's answer the civil engineering questions. Um, is there tuition high for CE? She said that the tuition depends on the subjects taken. In the case of civil engineering, we have laboratory subjects which expense up to 10,000 pesos to 15,000 pesos each subject. Regular subjects range to 3,000 to 5,000 per subject and if you have courses that require lesser laboratory subjects then maybe the tuition is lesser as well. That's about it with USC related questions. If you have any more clarification regarding them, please direct to the description box under USC links where you can access their different information from different websites and pages. So yeah. Good luck and God bless future Carolinian. Okay, now for the next part would be University of San Jose Recoletos related questions. I have my Hosenian besties to thank for this part of this video for answering the questions, specifically to Laura Jean and Kylie Ace. Thank you guys, couldn't do this without you. Okay. For the general questions, we got the first question as Pila ang kwaon na grade if mo school ka sa USJR? They said, if mo apply yung academic scholarship, of course, na I need na grade. Which is na asa link nga gipaste po nako below to know more about them. Dili er daw strict sa grades ang school, pero Better if with honors or high honors ka pa grade 12 para maka-avail ka sa academic discount. Please note sad daw that the first term of the academic year ra ma-applicable ang imuang scholarship or the discount that you got. And if you want to, to have it again, you need to reapply again for the second term. If not sad ka ganahan mo avail sa scholarship, e-check ra nila imuhang grade. But sa ilahadang na-remember, pag katong SHS, senior high school pa, ni take silag exam and then if makapasar ka sa entrance exam, or like at least, na ni cap yun ra daw imuhang grade sa sakto nga percentage sa exam, makasod ra ka. But if wala sad, or like hambong na ka, or ara pa dulong, dawaton Japon daw ka sa school, but under probation in Mohang grades and performance in school. They don't know if the same or sa college, but most probably the same or now. Next question. Dapat na akay maintain the grade while the school is a USJR? Yes, na ay dapat i maintain the grade. But they said na orient mo ana and then na may counseling ika mga first week sa class kung hantud asa kutob ang grade na imong i-maintain sa major and minor subjects. Also added that mas better jud if passing grades ka every term and walay hagbong to survive. This is also pertaining most especially sa ni-apply og academic discount. Kay of course if ni-apply ka discount, you have maintaining grades to do to have. 
They have to attain the desired GPA in order to acquire the corresponding percentage discount from the tuition fee na ilang gi applyan. If not cost scholar or we don't have academic discount, then you still have your maintaining grade para di ka ma drop out. Just like mentioned earlier. So with that, you're good. Next, does the school offer scholarship except for the government scholarships? Yes. They said na ay scholarship ang USJR aside sa varsity na academic scholarship said but of course na ay require ng grade upon entry. Please check the link that we placed below to know more about the grades, the requirements that you need to apply to the scholarships that are mentioned. Aside sa daw ana na apoy katong READ read which is ang target nila is kana jung medyo gipit na kayo. So, so maon na ipa working student nila. So, for example, na akay na kaatain kaning read, mo help sa registrar, library, and other offices and facilities daw. Na apo daw he mig husanian, which is for the choir, o kanang sa dance troupe. And they forgot the name, basta daw Jaguars Choo Choo. To know more about those scholarships that we have mentioned, and to know more about sa wala na mention, please directly go to the link below to know more about it. Is it hard to pass the entrance exam? The school doesn't have any entrance exam with the pandemic in mind. This is Samwang experience mga god kay wala jay nag um, online examination ng school. Exactly si any of those akong na apply yan. Um, with the pandemic in mind, the university will not conduct entrance examination. The student applicants will be evaluated based on their credentials. Primarily the report card and good moral certificate. So, yes, mana ang among experience pag last year wala ka ayo nag entrance examination. But I don't know if karon mag entrance examination ba sila kani better naman ang situation. However, you guys must be prepared about anything kay wala ta kabalo nga ang among experience is different sa inyong experience this year. So, yeah. Next question, will I be able to blend in with them? Yes, kayo. When you think about it, very intimidating jud kayo ang name sa school nga USJR. But actually daw, once nga makasulod na ka, you'll meet people nga naapod same interest ni mo. So, you'll be able to blend in, Rajod. You don't really have to worry about it. How? First, don't be afraid to try new things. That includes moila of people and mohawa or mopahawa of tao. If not just compatible and toxic na siya for you, find those people na feel ni mo dili ka pasagdan and always ka push to do better. Just don't overthink things. It will happen or just naturally. So sa ilang ipang mention guys, even ako. I would be very overwhelmed to be in USJR. Sa una, I when I don't have friends nga gikan sa USJR, I would say nga scary man magka friend og kusan yun. Oy, they're just like here and I'm like here. But then when I knew people from there, they're just like basically the same with me. Basically the same with us students. Like student report sila normal sa sila na person and then normal sa sila na people and then when you get to know them, they're just really good guys. So yes, I would say nga dilir mo mabalaka when it comes to that. You just have to go out of your shell and allow them to know you as well. Yeah, it will happen naturally. You will find your own people. Maorijo na sa college, guys. Next, how is the quality of education being showcased in USJR? Is the school high standards? Mm, they said, for me, sa good kaayo ang quality education sa USJR. And tungod nice ilang quality education, Yes, ma high standards jud ang school. Always sila mo push sa student to do something better. Dili sila mo dwell og ay okay ra na oy, okay na na. They would always encourage student to be the best in their fields and it doesn't stop there even. It train pod kanila on how to be good in socializing with others. Nindot og training grounds ang school. 5 stars, 100% recommended. <laughs> Rating lang. Alright, so let's go with the more specific questions uh, under University of San Jose Recoletos. Is the tuition high for Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering? Ang sa civil engineering daw before is maabot og 30 to 
50,000 pesos um, per SEM. But they're not really sure kung today na arabaan ang arrange or ni increase basia. But you can actually ask the school regarding this, and the link is below. And then another question regarding tuition fee is about Bachelor of Science in Nursing. My friend, which is also a nursing student from USJR, she said na ang sa PSN kay 40 to 43,000 pesos ang per sum. Yeah. And then before they ended answering the questions, they added na USJR daw, you have to expect jud nga daghan o ganap like activities, parties, and all that. Plus, they really care about their students' mental health. That's what they said. If you guys are aspiring to be a Hosenian in the future, you don't have to worry much about it. You just have to enjoy the moment. Because most of my friends at USJR, they're not just intelligent, not just friendly, but they balance their life so much, which is really nice when it comes to college. Kay, that's what you always do. Balance lang job. Dili ka magpabaya sa mga academics, di ka magpabaya sa mga life. Balance. And that's about it with the University of San Jose Recoletas related questions. If you have any more clarifications regarding the school, please um, redirect to the description box below where I place the different links of pages and websites of USJR so that you will know more and access the information there. Good luck, future Osanians! You got this! Okay, we are now down with Southwestern University FINMA related questions. Tupachia, Berlin, thank you so much for allotting some time and answering the questions that I have given you regarding Southwestern University. Tungod ana makagraduate ka with flying colors. Good luck, future RM! <laughs> Thank you so much, Berlin. All right. So with the general questions um, under SW Finma, pila ang kwaon na grade? She said, wala siya kabalo ana. But um, she said lang na 85 above siguro. Pero depende raguro ni Lord if if SW badaw ka or not. <laughs> Guys, understand Berlin. Ning ano junior since high school, so yeah. Next question. Dapat na kay maintain na grade? Well, if na kay maapilan daw nga scholarship, kay na jud kay maintain na grade. If sa finma nga scholar, kay I think 90% and above. If hawak ka may nga scholarship, kay wala ra kay maintain na grade. Pero all students daw dapat walay 4 na grade. Pero ang grading system kay magdepend sa subject if major ba or minor. Different ang ilang maintaining grades and also depende sa sa prof if generous sila mahatag o grades or not. Next, does the school offer scholarship except for government scholarships? She said na yes. There is a lot sa jud, pero ang ihang naibawan because she is also one is ang um, Finma Scholar Ship, alumni scholar, presidential scholar, og hawak kamay scholar. I meant hawak kamay scholar. She is a hawak kamay scholar, guys. Pero if naadaw kay lain nga interested nga scholarship, you can visit the page of SW Finma, which I linked below. And yeah, you guys can know more about it there. Next, is it hard to pass their entrance examination? I applied for SW as well, but I na remember walay entrance exam ang SW Finma uh, unless you applied for academic scholarship. I applied for Hawa Kamai scholarship before, and katora ang na examination, which is very easy rajud if ganan mo apply for that. But when it comes to entrance examination, jud sa SW Finma wala sila na examination namo last year. I don't know if karona ah or not. But if wala, they are going to base it on your credentials and grades. Next, will I be able to blend in with them? Yes, kaayo with double, triple O. Although, 
lisod pa daw at first makig friend pero maanad yun daw mo guys international schools ang SW they contain foreigners and like that um, sa ilang students and of course dili daw the same sa pag elementary and high school nga ang imo ang makasturya is classmates or silingan but karon guys mas lagyo daw ang imo ang classmate na a, na a sa tagalain country so you don't have to worry about it but even maglisod ka at first, you will find your people eventually. Is the school high standards? She said, maka pressure kayo, especially sa med students. Kay, yeah, lahi erjud ang med jud daw, guys. But she said, fighting. Aja. <laughs> and for the last question that we got under SW Finma is, the, is that understanding Rama professors there, she said, Sa akong nagian pag first semester kay yes they're very understanding jud but chika lang ko that there are other proper uh, there are other professors that is not so inconsiderate pero overall daw guys understanding jud and very considerate ang mga profs dito tantong naa lang sa jay uban nga maka roar 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 <laughs> my friend why is she like this she said daw kaya ra daw kaayo maka graduate ra daw tanan so yeah i guess good or not so good professors knowledge na sa students kay kabalo man ko nga it's not just us nga naka try mga different types of professors at the end of the day it's always going to be about you you know all right um i guess that's about it with sw finma questions and if you have any more clarification and curiosity about the school, please direct to the D box below and access the information through the links that I have placed there um, from different websites and pages of the school. So yeah, to future SW students out there, God bless guys, good luck, and yeah, you can do it. All right, let's hop on and the next part, which is the Cebu Doctors University related questions. Da -na -na -na. All right, this section is answered by my very, very nanning CDU bestie and wife and future RN, Luke Shannon. <laughs> Thank you, babe, for helping me help other people. She had just ang kanakani right hand aninga type of video. So yeah, thank you, babe. I really appreciate that. Mahimo urge kang RN soon. Anyway, let's start. Um. General questions. Pila ang kwa on the grade sa CDU? She said it's gonna be 3.0 or 75, the required general weighted average to pass. Take note lang daw that there is a different grading system for each course subject. Next, na ay maintain the grade? She said yes with two exclamation points. No grades below 3.0. That's your best friend, as I said earlier. Next, the CDU offers scholarship, exact government scholarships. She said they do. They have Sanctus Vincensus Scholarship Foundation or SVSF. They also have Doña Aniceta Lara Zabal Memorial Scholarship. Those mentioned are a few of the scholarships CDU is offering. But if you guys wish to know more about other scholarships that they offer, please check out the CDU's site, which I linked below. They have posted there everything, including the requirements for the application of scholarships. All right? Is it hard to pass their entrance exam? What is the passing rate of their entrance exam? She said, no, it's the general exams like computation, verbal ability, and the like. But take note, it's so easy to get pressure with time. So she suggests you answer as much as you can while still being extra, extra, extra careful and stay calm lang jod. For the passing rate, on the other hand, she thinks that it was 60%. So yeah, dili urge mabalaka guys. When answering the examination, timed ang ilahang exam, so you just have to answer as much as you can. Both of us applied for CDU, but siya ang ni proceed, being one of the Cebu Doctors University students. So yeah. Next, 
Will I be able to blend in with them? A Cebu Doctor University may sound very intimidating at first, but it is like every other university. You really just have to find your people. And I believe that this is true because even other institution pa ka, you just really have to find your people, guys. Yeah, it will come. It will come. Is the school high standards? Of course! It's CDU! It's one of the top performing universities in Cebu with top board nutters. So expect a lot of pressure from your profs and from the university itself. However, guys, she said don't be discouraged because the pressure really helps. Maka motivate daw because you don't want to drag down the school's name, you know? Uh, what is the quality of the education system? She said, CDU is really good. It's a top performing school for a reason, she said. I love their training. At first, it may seem very overwhelming, but after some time, you'll get the hang of it because they have a nice set of professors and instructors that are very hands-on and are really good at what they do. Plus, they're always ready to help you, Jud, if you need it, if you don't understand the lesson, or if you have any more queries about it. So yeah, that's what she said. Um, let's go to the more specific question, which is with Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Pila ang tuition fee sa BSM? She feels like it changes from time to time since it differs from the units you take. But for BSN Level 1, her whole year sums up to 99,800 plus or almost 100k jod. And then let's go with the BSMP tuition fee. She said na similar adults to nursing in yung mabayran. So yeah, that's about it with CDU related questions. If you have any more clarification regarding their school, please go to the description box below where I have placed the different links of their websites and pages. So yeah, to future CDU students, guys, you got this. You got this. I believe in you. Alright, we are now down to Vela's related questions. For this section, I want to thank my almost co villision friend, Pauline Marie! Thank you so much for helping future villagians to know about your respected school. Yes guys, I almost um, applied for, I mean I really did apply for Vela's and if I didn't have to CNU, I would have been there, right? So yeah. Okay, let's start with a general question. Pila ang kwaon na grade sa Bella? Um, she said that it's a requirement for them to have at least 85%. But she highly encouraged everyone to aim for 90 plus grades. Cause the competition's pretty tight. Yeah guys, very high to the standards sa Bella. And then according to their clinical instructor, they received 4,000 but only 120 students got accepted to school, um, specifically with nursing. Next, na maintain the grade sa Vela's, she said, if you want to aim for Dean's Lister, you should maintain a grade of at least 1.8. And of course, there are benefits for those who can make it to the Dean's Lister. You'll get a discount now, she said. So, yeah, mao na siya 1.8 for those who aim for um, Dean's list, but I guess same or siguro sa other schools na dapat maka maintain kag at least three imong grade. Next, does the school offer scholarship except for government scholarship? She said, for senior high school students who ranks top one from a graduating class of at least 30 students, they shall be granted 100% free tuition privilege for one sem. Same goes with rank 2 with 50% for one semester and then for rank 3, they'll get the 50% if there are at least 80 graduating students still for one sem. They also have Vela's College of Nursing Alumni Association Scholarship but only for senior students. And they have Vela's College Faculty Development Scholarship where they select and designate a scholar from either first year or second year students based on the student's potential. As much as possible now, 
if you guys can get a government scholarship, please grab it. It really is a great help kay Vela's College is so expensive. Um, I just want to say, not just Vela's College guys, if you are aiming for a medical course in the future, if ganan mo ana, expensive jud ang med. So yes, if you have government scholarships na you can have, grab the opportunity because it's going to be a great help. Is it hard to pass their entrance exam? What is the passing rate of their entrance exam? She said, as of now, they don't have entrance examination, but they base it strictly sa grades. She even added, guys, nga, please do well in your senior high school kay your grades do matter para makasood of prestigious schools. And then, when it comes to the rate of their entrance examination, um, feel like they don't disclose sa school, but they have a high standard judge when it comes to who they are going to accept or not. Will I be able to blend in with them? She said at first, she was really scared because she doesn't know anyone who take the same course as her. But she said, I swear to God, the seniors are very friendly. And for the blockmates, you just got to have to choose the right circle of friends. But in situation, tinabangay rajud ang tanan. She is lucky to be with her block. However, you should also expect sa pressure kay iyang blockmates. She's really sure nga gikan sad sa mga prestigious schools. And they are very, very smart. And, the, and most of them are mad rich. Pero, super drumming. And it's really important in college to be friendly pod. So yeah, depende rajud na sa tao. It's up to you guys because sometimes mangod, I mean, it takes two to tango. So if you want to be friends with this person, you have to do your part. And she have to do her part as well. But you can never ever force someone to be your friend if they don't want to. So it really depends sa tao. And then next question is the school high standards. Yes, super high standards. The teachers will expect a lot from you since gamay ra kayo ilahang pasudlon sa velas, especially sa nursing. Not to mention the major and professional subjects exams are pretty hard. Na apod uban minors na super lisod sad. Next. Does Vela strictly requires a first semester grade or is it okay to pass the first quarter grades only? She said, she doesn't know about this but she feels like the post ni sa ilang requirements sa page nila which I also have linked below and then please just check it there. Kaya ila raman ng ipost sa Facebook page and their website. Next question, what are the requirements for their scholarship program? She said na they sadly don't give scholarships for everyone. You should at least rank first, second, or third in your senior high school as stated earlier, but only for one sem rapod. Pero if you can make it to the dean's lister, uh, always, you can get a discount. As for the Vela's College Faculty Department, uh, as for the Vela's College Faculty Development Scholarship, we don't have a list of requirements. You need to contact them Jod, personally. Um, with the contacts, I have placed the link below so that you can personally contact them if you want to. So yeah, just redirect to the description box below. And then, for the next question, does having a 70 plus subject grade can apply for the scholarship? She said, sad to say, yes. She thinks that even if getting in sa school, if you have 70 plus grades, dili ka kasulod. So please give your best sa senior high school, kay it really matters. All right, let's go to the uh, more specific question under Bachelor of Science in Nursing and Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology. Pilang tuition fee for both. For the first semester of first year, if not shama change. The tuition fee for BSN is 53,500 plus, whilst a BSMT is 53,300 plus. Then for second sem daw, sa BSN is 59k plus, whilst sa BSMT kay 47k plus. Nursing ang pinakamahal sa Velez, but she's telling you guys it's worth it. The clinical instructors are very kind and considerate so far and they teach so well 
Also, you can get a 5% discount if you can fully pay before the semester starts. That's it for the questions, but um, there is a message from Pauline, guys, and she said, She's not scaring all of you. She even highly encouraged you to enroll Sabellas if not plan ka. She's telling you all that it's gonna be worth it. Uh, she's just stating lang sa things na she know based on her experience. She is really hoping guys to see you there soon. And if you want to contact her, if there's anything you wanna know or mga yung notes if magbelas mo, you can contact her. She said, we were once scared, pero makaya rajud na guys if maning kamot lang. So that's about it with Vela's related question. If you have any more clarification regarding their school, please direct to the links that I have placed below to know more about them and to access their information. To future Velasians out there, guys, good luck, God bless, and you got this. Okay, now we have CITU, which is Cebu and Cebu Institute of Technology University questions. I have asked my friend Guppy and Gabe for this part of the video, and they are our future information technology people. Thank you guys. Anyway, let's start with the general questions. How is the quality of education being showcased in CITU? It is fairly good. They often hear their seniors giving compliments to the teachers. Does the, tuition, uh, does the institution offer free tuition? They said, in your first year, there is an instance where they cover full tuition. However, CITU is not free tuition. It really depends if naakay scholarship nga maget. Next, what are the scholarship offered? Like what scholarships are partnered with the school? They said they do not have a full list of the scholarships they offer. However, they suggest checking the freshman academic scholarship. Depending on your school and grade, you can get a percentage of your tuition fee. For partnerships, there is TOST as well. There are many more, so please check the links that I have placed below regarding the scholarships of CITU. Next, what are the requirements for their scholarship programs? First now, a high grade. Um, one of the people I ask about this is that he graduated as high honor and he barely got in. Then please check sa mga maintaining grades or grade na needed para mahimo kang academic scholar of CITU. Next, does having a 70 plus grade can't apply for this scholarship? They said it is possible, however, it may lower your chances of having one. Next question, pila ang kwa on a grade? CITU did not give an entrance examination. They submitted their requirements, paid, and got enrolled. They think you are pretty clear if you have average grades. Next, na maintain a grade? They said above the rest. Trust is your best friend, they said. Next, is it hard to pass their entrance exam? They didn't have an exam, as mentioned earlier. So yeah, mag-base na sila sa imuhang grades and credentials. Next question, will I be able to blend in with them? This is a struggle, really. For academics, I think you will be able to blend in just as well as competent teachers can teach you just fine. For some, though. Socially, you can make friends through group projects or if you have enough guts to approach them first, then you're good to go. So yes, um, narajud na guys ninyo kung dinan mo first move or um, based on sa group lang ang mga works, maka make you jikog friends. You just have to choose your crowd sometimes. Is the school high standards? They said they do not have information to answer this, but for me personally, I can say na CITU are one of the prestigious schools here in Cebu and they have high standards. Okay, now we have to go to specific questions regarding CITU um, with information technology. Lisod ba mag IT? They said it can be. They have only studied for one semester and it is just fine. 
There are students who struggled and there are some who did not. One of their teacher actually told them that they must be able to absorb and understand the lessons, especially coding, as it will become harder as they progress to the next topics. If you have the determination or responsibility, then they think you are good to go and you are fine. Is it really true nga CIT do have the best education for IT students? Kaya basta daw mo ana siya sa yang friends nga mag-IT siya, ila first suggestion is CITU. Just kay nindot daw mo tudlo or something like that. They said they do not have enough information to say that CITU is the best education for IT. However, CITU have been actually given an excellence award in IT education. They have friends in other year levels. Seeing that they are doing good, then maybe you can get your money's worth in CITU. They cannot say anything to other schools though, as they don't have in enough information or primary or secondary source regarding their IT education. But yeah, that that's what they said. Most of the mga nailhan ng mga IT students are from CITU, so. We can say kung best ba sila, but they are one of the best. Next, pila ka high tuition sa course na IT. They are taking 22 to 24 units per semester and they are currently paying around 28,000 pesos. It may increase in the physical setup as miscellaneous and laboratory fees will be added. Next, any tips before musabak sa college and mo take of IT na course? The first um, suggestion ngay lang gingon is join organizations, make friends, do not strain yourself, and be more responsible and prioritize your studies, but do not forget to live. The most important thing: do not be afraid to ask other people, ask for help from others, and be sure to offer some help as well when needed. For aspiring IT students, I don't have much experience either, but I suggest you to be computer literate. A little knowledge will help. If you are not, do not worry as it would still be okay. What other schools pwede ninyo is suggest for IT? They do not have enough information to talk about other schools offering information technology. That's about it with CITU related questions. If you have any more clarification regarding their school, kindly direct to the D box below where I place the links of their different websites and pages to know more and access their information. To future wildcats out there, good luck and God bless. Okay, now we have Cebu Technological University related questions. For this part, these questions are answered by Stephen James and Jericho, which I am so appreciative about. Guys, thank you for sharing your experience and knowledge regarding your school. I really appreciate it. Let's start with the general questions regarding their school. Uh, does the institution offer free tuition? Yes. CTU offers free tuition because CTU is also one of the state universities here in Cebu just like CNU. Next, how is the quality of education being showcased in CTU? They said the teachers are well hands-on sa mga student. Sa ilahang course, kay one subject per day, four hours of classes, makadiscuss jud sila og mayo. Dagan sad kayo sila projects. But however, these are only to help you to become a better student and a better profession with your course in the future as well. Next, what are the scholarships offered in CTU except for the government scholarship? C uh, State University mana, so they don't know if na scholarship kay free tuition naman daan ang university. But please direct the link that I placed below in case you are curious about the scholarship since I know that they are going to post it in their website or their FB page. So direct in the description box below under Cebu Technological University. Alright? Next, what are the requirements for their scholarship program? They um with this, please direct na lang put again with the links that I have placed below. Kaya na there ang complete 
information as they cannot state every requirement needed for the scholarship program. Next, pila ang kwao na grade sa CTU na i-grade na i-maintain? They said there is no particular grade to enter. However, sa maintaining grade, I think it's the same, practically similar with other institutions nga tres. Is it hard to pass their entrance exam? What is the passing rate of their entrance exam? Sa entrance exam, kay about sa imuhang course ang ilahang um, i-exam. And they don't have any idea sa passing rate uh, because the school do not discuss about them. Next, will I be able to blend in with them? Yes, just find the right people. Is the school high standards? I do not know but they answered no. How is the school overall? Wala pa kay koy kailangan ni school diri. So I wanna know lang sad if okay ra ba siya nga school. They said good sir Jun ang CTU kay ang mga students makamingle ra ka and sa mga school works kay mapractice jud imuhang skills. So yeah, that's about it with CTU related questions. If you have any more clarifications regarding the school, please direct to the description box below to know more about them where I place the links of their websites and pages to access the information you need. To future CTU students out there, God bless and good luck. State University students, love! Alright, we are now down to the 10th school, which is University of Cebu related questions. Um, before I'm going to start, to one of my Eusinian friends in the nursing department, Scarlett, thank you so much for the amazing answers to their question. It's gonna be a big help to a lot of people out there. Thank you so much, baby Scarlett. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Start. For the general question, first is, Based sa akong nadunggan, lisod daw sa UC kay hectic ang schedule. Wala na sila Christmas break pag last. Kapoy daw kaayo. Unsa ni ka tinuod? Sa ilaha daw, natimingan daw nga bagyo of course because of a death. Maoto pero wala pud sila kabalo if sa last um, batch of students na to sa Christmas break. But sa ilaha na, timingan man ni o death so na jud break. So tanan daw course kay Kapoy. Pero promise daw, mawala arang kakapoy kung magtinabangay lang jud like imong mga classmates in ana. Okay, for the next question, na scholarship ang UC karon nga I could take? She said, yes, katong sa PES grantee o ilang academic scholarship. Mao na siya ang one of the scholarship nga gi-offer sa UC but guys please check their website and FB page to know more about their scholarship in case they have other um, scholarship nga gi-offer nga wala na mention niya here. Next, what are the requirements for their scholarship program? Ang iyang nahibalan and ang iyang nahunong duman is good moral and is o card og ID pick. Pero naara man daw na gi-post sa ilahang page regarding sa scholarship and you can just go there and search for the Student Affairs Office, UC Banilad, and Mauna page. I also link them below if you want to check them out. Next, how much is the tuition fee per sum? Is their tuition high? She said, oo, dako jod kay nursing man siya. Ang first sum for nursing is 40k plus if STEM related ka pag senior high school, but if non-STEM ka, niya mag nursing ka, kay around 50k plus. Next is, pila na lang akong mabayaran if I'm a PES grantee or academic scholarship grantee. Iyang naibawaan is ang academic scholarship since mauman iyang na-applyan. Bale, gadepende siya sa grade na ay 3 ka categories which we answered lang ako ang pick here and you can also check it sa mga akong dito Thus, having a 70 plus grade can apply for the scholarship Okay Raman, as long as imong average kay sulod lang sa ilang required para sa scholarship Pilang po ako na grade na i-maintain na grade Yes, na a Ang general average should not be below 
niya no final grade below 2.3. Alright? Next is, is it hard to pass their entrance exam? What is the passing rate of their entrance exam? Um, they don't have entrance exam sa nursing, but she doesn't know about other courses. Uh, regarding with the exam passing rate, she doesn't know about it as well. But please check the official website of UC that I have linked below in case they disclose it there. Next, will I be able to blend in with them? Yes, of course. Pero, nakadepende sa nani mo kay online class sir ba right now. At first daw, maawaw po jud ka mo interact. Pero based sa ihang na experience kay dali ra kay jamming po ihang classmates. Again, you will find your people. Is the school high standards? Dili raman, she said. What are the requirements for UC? Naamo and sira na link niya na adito po ang grades and SO, good moral and ID. Um, what campus has nursing? Sa UC, their uh, campus for nursing is UC Banilad as well as other uh, med field uh, courses as well, UC Banilad. Yep, um, I think that's about it with UC related questions. If you have any more clarification regarding them, please go to the description box below and check the links that I have placed there where you can access their information. To our future Yusinian friends out there, God bless and good luck. You can do it. Okay, at this juncture, since I don't know anyone close to me to answer this question, I have researched them on my own for you guys. So, karon nga part sa question is other schools um, that they have placed sa form, which is Usaraka school, actually, ang um, other nga ilangi ask which is specifically um, University of Visayas. So the first question is, how much is a tuition fee per semester for BS Customs and Accountancy? Um, guys, based on my research, I don't think the school disclosed the full amount of tuition fee for each course, but you can always contact them if you want to know. Do not worry the contacts for University of the Visayas, I have placed them below so that you can contact them personally and ask how much is tuition fee for a specific course. They have, do they have student organization? Well, since I do not know anyone in a school sa University of Visayas, I cannot say from experience. But I think they have student organization since their high school department has lots, so maybe they have four colleges as well. Next, na ITES scholarship ang UBI. Well, yes, na ITES scholarship ang UBI. For those who do not know what TES means, TES is Tertiary Education Subsidy, and it's basically a scholarship offered by Chad under Unifast. All right. Next question: How long sila nagtrabaho after graduation? As I've mentioned earlier. Na arjun na sa person ang decision when it comes to getting a job after graduation. Okay? Yeah, that's about it with UV related questions. If you have any more clarification regarding the school, please go to the description box under University of the Visayas and access the links that I have placed there to know more about that. Alright? Okay, so karon kaninga part is ang questions where nag-ask sila for the best schools with the different courses. So the first is what school in Cebu is best in teaching the course BSMT. For me though, uh, different institution have their own way of teaching jud, so it depends on you which one imong pili on. For any med course like BSMT, I would suggest Veles, CDU, or FW. Next, what school is best in teaching the course Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering? Again, it would depend on you because each school has its own different way of education system. But based sa akong hebawan o sa akong mga kaila who are taking up BSCE, I guess it would be University of San Carlos, Cebu Technological University, or Cebu Institute of Technology University. Next. What school is the best for IT? I don't have enough knowledge when it comes to IT, but 
mostly sa akong friends, akong mga kaila who are currently enrolled with the course program. It's either Cebu Institute of Technology or Cebu Technological University. But you can also try other school if you are um, interested in. What school is the best for nursing? Since you are asking me, then I would say my school is one of the best. CNU, Cebu Normal University. However, I have friends from other institutions na nursing po nagitik. So I would say Veles, CDU, SW, and UC Banilad. That is all about the university-related questions that we got from the forum. I hope guys that we have answered the questions you gave us properly and at least by now have a little bit information about the universities here in Cebu. I also pray that um, by the guide of God, you guys will get into whatever institutions you apply for. So with that said, guys, God bless, good luck, and yeah, um, see you in college, you know. Um, God bless, good luck, and always remember to padayon lang, okay? Thank you, uh, thank you so much. At the next, the next video that you are going to see is all about the scholarships you want to apply for. You can go to the description box and click the link for the second video, or you can also directly click this icon above to direct the video and watch it after this one. Thank you again for watching. I hope we help you in the little way possible. And I really don't want to say this, but if you want to still hang out with me, do not forget to subscribe and like this video if it helped you. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye! Um, that is all about the you. Univer that is all about the university related questions that we got from the forum. I hope guys that we answered it properly for you and at least by now have a little bit information about the universities here in Cebu. I also pray that um, you will get into whatever institutions you apply for and yeah, God bless and good luck and do not remember to always padayon and one day reach your dreams. Pohon, pohon. So yeah, the next video that you are going to see after this one would be about the scholarships that you may want to apply for. You can go to the description box below where I linked the video or you can also directly click this icon above to watch the video after this one. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope we help you in the little way possible. And if you want to still hang out with me for the future videos that are not related to this or related to this, um, please do not forget to subscribe and like this video if it helped you a little bit. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye! That is all about the university-related questions that we have gathered from the forum. I hope that we answered it properly for you guys and I hope at least by now you have a little information about the different universities here in Cebu. I also pray that whatever institution you apply for, you will get in. So yeah, God bless, good luck, and do not forget to always padayon lang, okay? See you in college everyone! Uh, the next video that you're going to see is all about the scholarship you want to apply for. It's in the description box below or you can also click this icon above to directly watch it after this one. Again, thank you so much for watching everybody. If this in any way helped you, please don't forget to like. And of course, comment down if you have any more questions that I may answer in the future videos and of course if you want to hang out more with me through my videos here in youtube um, do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to be updated so that is it see you on the next video bye